Hi, village people. Hi, Horizons. How's my friends doing? With the help of my friend Kim, I'm going to do some balance exercises with you. And even though I don't see you, you see me, we're going to have a good time. And I just wanted to go over also a couple of things about safety. Make sure you're wearing the right footwear. Please have a couple of props. This is going to be a standing class, so have a chair even if you want to have a seat, but have a chair or a sturdy surface to hold on to, and we're going to get going. Oh, one more thing. Remember, stay hydrated, okay? So I'm just going to put this down, and we're going to get started. Okay, so I want you to first start by finding a wall or a closet door, closed closet door, that you can stand up in front of. Grab a towel, and I want you to have that handy in the event that when you stand with your back against the wall, you find yourself going like this when you try to get your shoulders back against the wall. So this little prop would help you. You place it behind your head. It'll prop your head a little forward, and your feet also are going to be, instead of right back here against the wall or the door, it will be a little bit out in front, so you're going to feel your tush on the wall. And I want you to try to get your shoulder blades back, and you're going to lift your chin just a little bit, press back. That's one version. The other version is maybe you won't need the towel, and you can step a little closer to the wall, Shoulders are going to be back, chin slightly tucked. Now you might feel, because you're not used to standing this way, that either you're falling backwards or you have some tension in your lower back. I want you to pull in your tummy just a little bit, your rib cage in a little bit, and just stand there for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay? Now, carefully step away from the wall and we're going to walk over to the chair and do some other exercises, okay? So I'm going to use a chair and I also have a pillow handy in the event that you want to do some exercises on an unstable surface. I'll go over some of those with you as we move along. And for now, I think what I'm going to do is have my back in this direction and I'm going to be standing facing, in my case I have a mirror, okay? And I just want you to start, again, reposition your body, shoulders back, chin slightly tucked, eyes looking forward rather than down, okay? And you can hold on to your chair gently and I just want you to Work on a little mobilization in your ankles. Don't pull on the chair because a moment ago I pulled on the chair and this is what happened. So I can fall. This is about fall prevention, not fall creation. And come on up and down. Just a little lift onto your toes and back down. And do that again. A few more times. And good. Okay. Now, I want you to take one foot forward, I'm doing it with my right leg, whichever leg you prefer, and if you go further apart, it's easier to go up and down on your toes. If your feet are closer together, it's a little harder. So find that position that's more comfortable for you. Hold on with both hands or one hand or no hands. I'll show you the no hand version. And you can go up and you come down. And try to bring the top of your head towards the top of your ceiling. Lift up and lower. Good. And come on up and down. Do that about five to ten times. And then switch legs. Have both feet facing forward. It does get more exciting as we go, I promise. It'll get more exciting. And come up and down. So do that about five to ten times. I'm not going to go through the entire sequence with you because you will be super bored and we won't get to everything we want to get to in a half hour. And one more and down.
Good. All right. So let's start with a little bit of some static holds. So static holds are positions such as standing on one leg for a certain period of time in different positions. So I'm going to take you through just bringing your knee, excuse me, your foot off the ground. I'll also be doing some uh, movements where your leg is off to the side and your leg is forward. Okay? So different patterns. Let's start first. Again, gently hold on to whatever your surface is. And you're going to take, in this case, I'm taking my right foot, toe is down. And you choose, you can let go. That could be enough for you. I would say hold for at least 10 seconds. Place your hands down so we can start there. And then you can switch legs and do the same thing on the other leg. Toe down, heel is lifted. Hands off to the side, or if you prefer, keep one hand on. Look straight ahead. And then you come down. All right, so let's advance that a little bit. You're going to take your foot, just like we started before. Toe is down, heel is off the ground. And I'm going to lift my foot off the ground. I'm going to hold that for about 10 seconds, taking one hand off, or both. And relax down and then switch, of course, to the other leg. And by the way, if you don't want to necessarily, uh, if you don't want to necessarily do these exercises, you can always go to my website and click on the videos and you can see certain balance exercises there too. Okay, back to business. Now, let's take our leg, again, static hold, and we're gonna bring our leg a little bit off to the side. The weight is gonna be in your left leg. Make sure that your posture is strong, tummy in, nice core strength, shoulders are relaxed, you're not rounded over, can't breathe well here either, and relax. Make sure, I'm going to show you one more thing on this leg, as you lift your leg to the side, you don't have to lift it high because that's going to maybe make you lean over too much, it's just a slight lift and down. And then, of course, do the other leg, same thing, off to the side. I also refer to this as the lateral movement. Hands off, perhaps. Those are hard, I will admit. Now, in order for you to do the forward leg movement, you can either step away a little bit or you can turn to the side. I'm going to turn to the side just for a change. And I'm going to take my first leg out in front. And the only hand that I'm holding on with is my left hand in this case, and I can let go or not. Again, maintain good posture, good eye contact across the room, especially at somebody that you might love who's just, okay, I'll let, I'll let you do the exercises and I'll watch. You know anybody like that? And down, and then of course... You can turn around or you can stay on the same side and lift the other leg and hold for 8 to 10 seconds. So those are all static holds. Now how about we do something that requires a little bit of movement. I'm going to stay in this position with one hand on. My outside leg is going to move, so I'm going to bring my leg forward to the side, around the back, and again, forward, whoops, around the side, and back, make sure you don't trip over any water bottles. And one more, up, around, and back. Now you can reverse that. Back, around, to the front, and down. And do that again. Nice. And then of course you change legs. So on those I would say do five. Movement is going to be a little bit harder, but more realistic. Because God forbid, Maybe I shouldn't say God. You don't want to fall, okay? That's the object of doing the balance exercises. And the risks are more great if you are moving. So let's say that realistically, if you are moving through your day, okay, you could fall. It doesn't usually happen if you're standing still. So the static exercises, although important, are not as realistic as doing movement with um, balance, okay? So now, how about we do some exercises that require a little bit more movement with lower body and upper body. So I am going to face you, right? 
and I'm going to take my right leg, it's my left leg, but don't tell anybody, it's going to be your right leg, and I'm going to take my right leg out, and I'm going to lift my left arm, and then I'm going to bring it back in. So try that again, gently step out, and lift your opposite arm, and come back in. And do that again. So repeat that a few times. If your arm doesn't extend way up, what you can do is just bring it forward, but I want you to move a leg and an arm simultaneously. And then of course you can change, careful on your footing, and do that again. You're going to switch, arm out, leg out, arm out, leg out. Okay, so that, now we can make it interesting. How about we take our right leg and we step it forward and our left arm is going to come across. So you're chopping the air with your left arm as your right leg is coming forward. Good. Okay, so all through our day we're always going forward, but what about backwards? Okay, some people don't even want to walk backwards, but it's an important component of balance training. So how about, I'm going to switch legs just because one leg is getting a little tired. So how about if I take my left leg back, just take your left leg back and come forward. Just start simple. Step back. So this still movement, it's still important. Step back and come in again. And step back, come in again. Okay, now let's move our leg and our arm simultaneously. Here we go. We're going to do our left leg and right arm. Hello. Look what I can do. And you're going to repeat that. Okay, so how do we change it? How about we do a little bit of rotation and the leg, all right? But instead of going in front like we did before, how about we go out? Presenting. Presenting Mel. Presenting Millie. Presenting Chuck. The Barbaras. The Marylands. Let's not forget the Normas. I think you get the idea. So the front first one I did was one leg is in front, I lift my arm, and then again I did the same leg, but my arm went in front. Then I stepped back and I went up, or I stepped back and I brought my arm out to the side. Okay? Alright, some other exercises that you can do for mobility and a little bit of balance is I'm going to turn the chair around. Now, if your chair is too low, what I want you to do is get a pillow or a book that you can touch down. And I'm going to grab, because it's easier, the pillow. And by any chance, if you know of anyone who's looking for a job, I'll be hiring in six months. Okay. So. First time, I'm going to reach down, no big deal, easy, I reach down, okay, you know what's coming, you're going to reach down with your right, uh, mm -mm. I'm going to reach down with my right hand and lift my left leg, might seem scary, hey, but life is scary right now, so we're living through it, right, so just try it. Now, what you might want to do is with that hand that's not doing very much of anything, hold on to a surface. So right now, of course, I'm really narrow, but you might want to have something further out. And you touch, and you come up. So my leg is moving, my arm is moving. And then, of course, I switch. So my right leg, kind of think about this, because I'm doing opposite of you. So I'm taking my right leg, kind of my right, oh, I did my left leg. Anyway, just do the other leg. <laughs> It's like my counting, it's not always on time. All right, so now what I'd like you to do is try that this way. You're gonna take your left leg back and you're gonna to touch down with your opposite arm. Tap, tap, come up. So you're staying up longer, excuse me, staying down longer. Tap, tap, come up, good posture, look straight ahead, don't keep looking down. Tap, tap, come up. And then you can do variations of that. How about if you, you tap, lift your leg to the side, and come back up. Pull in your tummy, pull in your ribs, protect your back, 
And then, of course, you can do the other side. Tap, leg to the side, and back. Leg to the side, and back. Okay, what else is up my sleeve? Uh, oh, I know. One of the exercises that I do with you in class is you're going to hold onto your chair. I'm going to do my right arm, and I'm going to be swinging my left leg. So my leg goes straight out, and then it swings back. Out, swings back. Now, watch the direction of my arm. My arm goes in the opposite direction of my leg. So you do about 10 of these. And then the second set will be a swing. Two, three. Instead of continuing on with the fourth one, I step out, I come back in. Let's do that again. I swing three times. One, two, three, fourth one, I complete half of it, step out, step back in. So the stepping out might not be more difficult, it's the stepping back is where you have to be careful. One more time. Here we go. One, two, three, step out, come back in. And then, of course, you can do the other side. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, I'd like you to try, oh, when you go up and down on your toes, that's important. Again, we did that for mobility. But how about if we take one foot and we're going to step back a little bit further than we did before. So right before we did this, our legs were... Actually, you know what? Everybody scratch that. I'm stuck for a moment. Okay, get some water while I'm thinking. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. You know what I'm thinking? I think this is going to be it for today. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about that, but I think you have enough to work with. And again, you can do easily a 15-20 minute workout. I shortened it because I only did one leg for the most part and I said okay repeat the same thing in the other leg. So I'll have more to show you next week but in the meantime you can always look at my website and look at the different videos that I have. It's under the tab called blog slash videos and you don't have to read the blogs unless you want to but the videos are there and there's a lot of different combinations. Okay. All right, I love you all. I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Look for the next video. I'm sure it'll be a little bit more polished than this one, but I hope it made you laugh. Bye.